Anyway, long story short, good guy Briar got leaked absolutely everything. Cinematics, teasers, her feet, absolutely everything got leaked. So now let's go bit by bit accordingly, lore-wise and chronologically to see what, what the champion is up to. That was supposed to be the first teaser, yeah. It's a shit that she got leaked. That shit will be creepy, not gonna lie. That shit, ironically, would be creepy. But we are in the jail of Noxus, which is run by Black Rose Cult, which is the CEO of the Black Roses, Labonk. She's thousands of years old, and she's about all about all about that that that, that evil, you know. <laughs> Hello. That's the second one. Hey there. Hello. You cannot tell me that's not Jinx. Are you hungry? Always. Uh, um, hello? Uh, anyone there? Ah, uh, maybe someone hello. is here. Um, <clears throat> hello. Hello. Uh, hello. You know, these hellos remind me of uh, Kifness song. Sometimes I'm alone, sometimes I'm not. Hello. With that cat, yeah, 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 yeah. Straight up, that's what I'm getting. Hey there. Hello. I'm Better. So hungry. Tell me what you want, but that's a Jinx voice actress. That straight up is a vo Jinx voice actress. <laughs> yep. <laughs> The locking device looks absolutely nice. Oh, I miss eating. Same element. Jinx voice plus Dante's mental. Honestly, I'd say Jinx is exactly e as equally insane as Dante's. Mm, got any snacks? Maybe. Why? Kesha <laughs> mental for that. <laughs> Yep. <sighs> See from this just falling asleep animation, what I'm getting is the playfulness of Fizz. Because Fizz in game has one of those animations where she's just falling asleep. That's what I'm getting. The speed. <laughs> Bro, she goes dead. Cute wife. Ah. Uh, crazy wife. Also, that's a child. Keep that in mind. That's a child. The question is, how old is that child? Because, I mean, she looks like a zombie who's been dead for at least two decades. You know? Hello. That's creepy at all. Aren't cells boring? Again, Jinx voice. Is she, is she squatting? She is squatting. Bro, I'm curious. How much does this locking device weigh? Because she's squatting quite a lot, I believe. Yeah. Jet, if you're not squatting at least 100 kilos, you should be ashamed and you should hit the gym. Because a child locked in a prison is squatting more than you. Jet, come on, build yourself. Be better. Uh, staying the fuck away from you, that's what. On one hand, kinda kawaii. On the other hand, fuck no, I need a priest and exorcist. Mm. 
<laughs> Bro, just imagine with a bit of a video editing. You replace her face with Kesha's face and Kesha's noises in this bit. <laughs> now, after I've seen a couple of clips of Kesha, I'm pretty sure that my guy is capable of breaking his fucking chair and making a locking device similar to that. Best cosplay ever. Changed my mind. Lunges, kind of deep lunges. Bro, she fit. She kind of strong, not gonna lie. Nice sword. That's not a sword. Anyway, just keep it family friendly. Not creepy at all. PF sword traitor. <laughs> Maybe we can't talk. Maybe we don't want to. Also, yeah, we're now you're thinking of portals. She's going left. She's appearing right. Is it fun? Hmm. Wanna come closer? Uh, no, we do not want to come closer. Okay. Oh, I straight up I could not do that. Eating. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting the idea of Uncle Iroh when he was locked in Fire Nation's prison. She's just working out, waiting for her moment to get away from here. We're friends, right? So, there's this thing I've seen humans do. Handshakes. No handshakes. Social distancing. Why shake hands? Now think about it. Imagine if, if they would release Briar during the pandemic. What we are all warned against. Handshakes and any other physical contact. But it's all about social distancing and she wants to have a handshake, you know? That would be a good example. Will you shake my hand so I can figure this out? She gives Azula vibes still speaking of Uncle Iroh. Azula after the mental breakdown. After the the episodes, after everything that happened in the last airbender. Yeah, when she is absolutely crazy. Yeah, maybe then. No, 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 no. Do not come closer. Why? Well, I mean, natural selection. Straight up natural selection. And... Uh, she got blood. Dead. And she got blood. The cage is open. The question is, uh, this is the moment where she has blood and she is a vampire, which means she needs blood to power up. So technically, I am fucking praying that this cinematic is going to be better than we got for season 14. Riot, please do not disappoint me. Soldier. <gasps> She's got blood! Oof. Okay. Is it just me or the, the, the style of animation reminds me a bit of Arcane? Yep. Hi. Hello. Oh, you're escaping too? Just one question. How old is she? Asking uh, for a friend. Phew. I'm glad you know the way out. She's been friends. On your guard! But this is straight up arcane. Escape, buddy! That's my friend! And you're food! Holy shit! I mean... Uh... That's fun. 
one. Uh, I mean, on the one hand, fucking fire. On the other hand, Riot, you're making the job of Rule 34 artists way too easy. Wasn't that fun? Jinx 6 Briar R44 gonna be popular. I mean, this is amazing, not gonna lie. The cinematic was fucking amazing. But what I'm seeing is that they took Jinx and they made the Warwick out of her. So, Uwu version of a Warwick. That's what she is. Uh, I'm pretty sure abilities got leaked as well now. Mm -hmm. Passive Crimson Curse. Branch attacks the only abilities of police hacking. Bleed that heals for her for a portion of the damage dealt. Perpetually hungry, she gains increased healing based on her missing health, but lacks innate health regeneration. Okay, she will also heal for any remaining bleed damage when a bleeding enemy dies. Nice. Additional notes, her abilities are health cost. Makes sense she's, since she's a hemomancer. Passive also applies to minions. Oh, this is broken as fuck. Counter is grievous wounds. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a Darius passive combined with Warwick passive. Nice. Q head rush. Briar leaps to a unit dealing damage as well as stunning them and breaking their armor. Briar will stun, stop prioritizing enemy champs if she casts the ability on a minion or a monster during the effects of Blood Frenzy. Uh-huh. Additional notes. You can Q to allies. What? And then, even better chat. Hear me out. Where's the, where's the, where's the chat? Abilities point and click. Uh-huh. So... So, a Jax Q. Yeah, straight up a Jax Q. The animation looks nice, by the way. Uh, fuck me, here we go again. Another 200 pages of the text. Okay, Blood Frenzy. Briar leaps forward and shatters her pillory, entering a Blood Frenzy that causes her to relentlessly pursue the nearest enemy, prioritizing champions. That's, you're not controlling yourself at this point. Your mouse mouse clicking doesn't do anything. Hello. While frenzies, she gains increased attack speed and movement speed, and her attacks deal an area around her target. So basically AOE. And wait, they they just gave her fucking diamond in her passive. Okay. Briar can reactivate this ability while frenzy to take a jump out of her target on the next attack, dealing additional damage based on their missing health and healing her based on the damage delve. Uh-huh. So basically a war with Q, understandable. No, it, it, it is a war. No, it's... What is a Trundle Q? Because Trundle Q is a straight up a chop and it heals you. Uh-huh. Additional notes. You're expected to max this ability. First dash range is about 300-400. I have no fucking idea what that means. If used in the wall, it will try to put you over it like a flash. You can cancel the frenzy by using E. You cannot use QSS to remove the frenzy. So you're not controlling yourself. Oh, this is nice. That's a nice concept, but you're literally losing control of your champion. I see how it is. Oh, I cannot see the fucking text in the bottom. Why, 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 why are you removing text in the bottom? I cannot read that shit. Friends is a great excuse for taxing late. I cannot stop it. It's actually genius. It's actually genius, bro. You walk into the lane, you press your dub, snack attack, and then you you you, you tax everything. Tower dive's gonna be insane, true. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! Ah, uh, this looks amazing. Plus the sound effect, chilling scream, Briar. Refocuses her mind, removing blood frenzy and channeling energy into a powerful stream that damages and slows enemies. 
Mm -hmm. While charging, she takes reduced damage and heals for a portion of her maximum health. A fully charged scream knocks back, dealing additional damage and stunning enemies that hit the wall. <laughs> Nar ultimate mod check, yeah. That straight up is a Nar ultimate. But better, because while you are charging and you have Aurelia's dub around you, you're taking less damage. Plus, shit heals you. Uh-huh. She has two stands. Well, technically, this one, this one is more difficult because you have to hit against the wall. But still, a double slow already. No wonder she's jungler, bro. Straight up, no wonder she's a jungle. She has way too much CC. Oh, I mean, this little animation looks fucking amazing. God damn! But what new insect? Yeah, now think about it. what. What if? But no, no, no. You cannot do insect because you are in your blood frenzy. You cannot control your champion. You cannot flash over the champion. Or you cannot queue over a champion to be behind them. Or use the prowlers, oh, the old prowlers, or gale force, doesn't matter. Any item that moves you behind the champion to go for an insect. Because you're not controlling yourself. Nice. Certain death. I like the name of this. This looks nice. This looks nice. Briar clicks a hemolith, marking the first champion hit as her prey. She then beelines straight to them, fearing other surrounding enemies on arrival. That is third CC in a row. And enters a state of complete hematomania. She will pursue her prey until one of them dies, gaining the effects of a blood frenzy, as well as additional armor, magic resist, lifesteal, and movement speed. Mm -hmm. Additional notes. This ability is near global, reaches from Dragon to Baron. <laughs> it's like <laughs> one champion before that, we had a chill, a chill singed level of mechanical champion, you know? A Q does the thing, the, 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 does the thing, E does the thing, you, you have a bit of wolves, easy champion. Then, they give us 200 yards of design riot. Okay, this global has a global SFX, so you know when it's been cast. So basically the same thing as with Scion. You can hear whenever Scion is casting his ability. You can use E to cancel the frenzy. Uh -huh. If the enemy is Zonius, you will target something else. Until it ends, then focus back onto them. Oh, that's fucking broken. And the last message. <laughs> Who let Riot August go? <laughs> and imagine you're doing that at the battle and you're jumping towards Dragon. Oh my fucking god. Oh, I mean, she looks amazing. The abilities look fucking insane. And that's the skin. Yeah, yeah, that is the skin. And these are her auto attacks, yeah. That's her Q. I don't know. I don't know. Somehow I prefer the original pinkish, red, uh, dark, and black scholar scheme. That's the. That's the ultimate. But don't get me wrong, Blaze look fucking amazing. But I mean, the art style is taken straight up from uh, from the arena. Yeah, that's absolutely nice. That's the recall. She is uh, removing her shackles, doing a bit of a break dance. That's how she looks. Mm hmm. So we can walk through the walls. Okay, let's see a bit of a gameplay. <laughs> That's only pickaxe by tough. Hey! Remember, AoE damage, bleed, heal. 
Uh, that's only pickaxe and vamp seven. Okay, so she, she's not an assassin. She's more of a fighter like Viego, yeah. Uh huh. Is he building Sundari? Yeah, he's building Sundari next item on her. What do you mean? Bro. <laughs> <coughs> but like. But like, imagine. Warwick ultimate point and click from fucking across the Africa. Look at the shit. Look at the shit. You just hit the area. Good enough. And then and then you just and then just eat them. And fear, yeah, and fear as well, yeah. This this is fine, Riot. That is that is Gwen. Two level different, by the way. Gwen should win this. Gwen was supposed to win this. Mm -hmm. Certain death. Nice fear. Mm -hmm. That's just ultimate point and click. Okay, let's see. Flash into her unstoppable frenzy. She's not controlling her champion. She's one level behind. Okay, well, granted, her score is kind of good. But that's... That's how her uncontrollable ability works. You just go full cled mode. And you let go of your keyboard. Look at that. Pressing dub. Flash into dub. And that's it. You cannot control your champion. That's all autopilot. This this is fine. This, this, this is fine. Raya, this is fine. Uh huh. That was her Q, I believe. Yeah, that was the jump. Pressing W, you are not controlling yourself. Maximum charge, chilling scream. Yep. Yep. And she was, she went away with full HP. Lovely. Incoming! What I mean, okay, this this just showcases the abilities, but keep in mind she is giga fed, 14 and 2. Shifu, do you see her picture? What picture? Oh, this this one, yeah, very kawaii. I mean, this one, this this one doesn't count. Uh, this this one straight up doesn't count because she's level 16, bro. The enemies are level 13, level 12, plus 17 kills. Ah, there we go, there we go. Defeat her back. I mean, lovely. What a lovely champion, Riot. I will enjoy playing her, assuming assuming she will not be banned. But let's be real, bro. She will be banned 24/7. Sad.